Okay. In the uh, next unit, we are going to have uh, introduction to organic chemistry, and uh, I must tell you, organic chemistry is going to be covered in two semester, the two labs associated with it. So we are not pretending at all that I will cover organic chemistry for you. Just an introduction about uh, what organic chemistry um, is in, uh, in general. Um, so organic chemistry is chemistry of carbon and hydrogen. Mainly you have carbon and hydrogen. So you have over 112 elements in the periodic table that are responsible for uh, compounds that they are named as inorganic chemistry. Um, anything that is, is salt, metal, non-metal, ionic compounds, covalent bonded compounds, that mainly is other elements. But if you have compound that is mainly carbon and hydrogen, let's say you have CH3H8, this is propane, you use it in the, the grill tank. Um, you have C4H10, uh, butane, another gas that is used for combustion. Um, you have alcohol, ethanol, propanol, isopropanol. And so in general, you have less than 1 million, so let's just say 1 million of this, 11 million of the um, of organic. is approximate number, is not exact number. And uh, same thing here. Um, so if you have 1 million coming from every element in periodic table except one, and this one is the only element responsible for it is, is uh, carbon then carbon must be very uh, unique. Why carbon is unique? Because carbon can form um, single bond. So you can get like a carbon-carbon single bond. Um, carbon can form double bond. Carbon can form triple bond. Um, it can form a cyclic system. Okay. Cyclic systems means that there is a carbon in every corner cyclic system. Um, carbon um, can form bond with hydrogen. Um, it can form bond with other carbons. And uh, it can form like a head to tail. So you get like a um, cyclo, cyclic system when there's a head to tail. So we get a lot of chemicals from the, uh, from the carbon compound by number. And naming is going to be different. It has to be like rules that you're using numbers. You can't use a specific name for every compound. So it's classified in different families. And then if you know the name for family, then you can know you can name the compound easier. Uh, how to name, um, you know, the process how to name um, compound that belongs to a specific family, then any compound that falls into that family, you can, you can uh, name it. So we have different families. We have hydrocarbon. That means it's made of hydrogen and carbon only. We have alcohols that they have like an OH functional group attached. We have ethers. These are the oxygen compound. This oxygen attached to two carbon with a single bond. We have aldehyde. And then for aldehyde, we have different functional groups. We have ketones, carboxylic acid, esters. These are different families. We have amines, we have amides. And uh, what we are going to mention some of the different uh, terms and basically the basic rules of studying organic chemistry. Uh, as introduction, uh, you learn more about organic chemistry when you actually take the organic chemistry courses. So, uh, hydrocarbon is made of only carbon and hydrogen. We have three families that fall under this category. One is alkane. Alkane. Um, the other family is alkene. Uh, the other one is alkyne. These are open chain. Uh, and then we have, we have cyclic system, like a cyclic alkane and 
and we could have like a cyclo alkene not cyclo alkyne would be very unstable so we have these uh, different families that they are made only from carbon and hydrogen um, so if you look at the um, alkane carbon if you have n carbon you would have 2n plus 2 hydrogen example uh, for alkane that has 3 carbon is going to have 3 times 2 plus 2 which is C3H8 that if you have the relationship between hydrogen and carbon like follows this general formula then your compound belongs to alkane family everything is single bonded so carbon to carbon is single bonded and carbon to hydrogen always single bonded alkene has one unique bond at least you have one carbon carbon double bond so general formula for alkene is going to be cnh2n there's no plus two here example if you have c4 hydrogen is going to be eight one carbon carbon double this is the functional group word alkyne is going to have one triple bond at least one triple bond so the compound belongs to alkyne family general formula cnh2n minus a two so if you have c5 and then number of hydrogens is eight this compound belongs to the alkyne family okay um, cycloalkane CNH2N but is a cyclic system so if you have uh, five carbon is going to be uh, is going to be 10 hydrogen so is a C5H10 there is no double bond so we know it's not in so it must be a cyclic system each carbon must have four bonds if you don't see the four bonds that means there are understood number of hydrogen bond to that so this carbon has bond down here bond here that's two two missing hydrogen this carbon has a bond bond that's two so it's missing two hydrogen this one same thing one two three and four this carbon is one two three and four this carbon same thing so if you count all the necessary hydrogens to satisfy this carbon system is going to add up to 10 and that is the formula for C5H10 cycloalkane for cycloalkene is going to be a cyclic system that has one double bond at least and the general formula for that is going to be CNH 2n minus a 2 so basically if you have a cyclic system it takes care of two hydrogens so cyclic system doesn't it satisfies two um, hydrogen these are some of the examples of alkane family alkane one carbon alkane how do we know it's alkane because it's all single bond and there's only carbon and hydrogen so it's alkane one carbon is going to be when we are naming is going to be named as met so you have more space here uh, if it's one carbon it's going to be met prefix used okay so you have a prefix and a suffix and you say methane so if it's at ch4 met is that there's one carbon and then a methane that means it belongs to alkane family so a and e is coming from the alkane methane so you have ch4 is one carbon is met and then all single bond there's no double bond there um, and is the name would be methane if you have two carbon then you have ch3 ch3 
basically two carbon and six hydrogen. Remember the general formula for alkane is the CNH2N plus two. Um, so two carbon, two times two is four plus two is going to be um, six. And when you have two carbon, the name is going to start with the prefix of et. Is all single bonded or it follows this general formula, so it's alkane. And as a result, the family name is going to be A and E. So you have ethane. For three carbon, CH3, CH2, CH3, we have three carbon. So for three carbon, you are going to have prop, prop. And then the last name, because it belongs to alkane. How do we know it belongs to alkane? Because it is a CNH2N. For three carbons, you have eight hydrogen. So it's going to be propane. So what does butane mean? It means that it belongs to alkane. Um, and but is for four carbon. So it's going to be four carbon and uh, 10 hydrogen, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. That would be butane. But for four. And then pent, like a pentagon, is going to be for five and hex for six.